Hey everybody, Mr. Polymers here. Well, I finally received my replacement 3DX6. I actually shipped, the original one had a bad main board. I shipped that back first week of February. I finally received this. It's April 9th. It took uh, two months to get, two long months. So when I first got the box, I was a little concerned, and I'll show a picture of the box that had a bulge in it. So, of course, right away, I think the copter's damaged. Damaged in the box, but what it turned out to be was this plug, which I don't use anyway. And they do supply you. This is the charger they supply you with. Again, I don't use this since I have the uh, IMAX B6 here set up. So, these I put aside. Uh, everything looked good, but... Uh, of course, as I look in the package, I've got a broken skid. So I'm going to contact Banggood, and I'm going to demand a new set of skids. In the meantime, I will try to fix this, but even super glue, that is kind of a bad, that's a bad area to have a break. So, uh, not sure how this could have broken. It was buried in the package. I think what they do, they test fly these, and I assume this was broken probably in their test flight. So anyway... I'll work with this, but I am going to let Banggood know. Okay, as far as the quad, I'm just going to do a couple fairly quick modifications. I'm not going to bore you with video. Uh, what I'm going to do with this, like I did in my previous, is install these 5mm LEDs. They will go in these holes here. And these will, I'll find either a 7 volt or 5 volt spot on the main board here. So these will be installed. This is the foam pipe wrap. You get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. I will place this on the skids like I did my last one. Foam pipe wrap, very simple. And finally, put this away. Finally, I want to go over. I have two, three. Actually, I have five configurations of blades. Now, these are the blades. These are propellers that came with it, and they're fairly, uh, I think these are 50-30. Uh, they don't really give a whole lot of lift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to do four trials with these various prop configurations, starting off with these. Now these are also 50-30, but they're a, what they call a, a triple leaf or three leaf a blade, which should give me a little more lift. That'll be one trial. I'm going to step it up on the second trial. These are 50-40 uh, blades, so these have a little more lift. Again, the 40, you know, what's the difference between a 50-30 and 50-40 is the amount of thrust. 50-40, 40, I believe, is a factor of 4 inches for so many revolutions of prop. So, again, those last two digits, the higher that number is, the more... Uh, lift you have so this will be trial number two these are the blades I had on the first on the first uh, at, uh, 3dx6 you saw my videos on uh, I think I had issues excuse me I think I had issues with these these were creating too much drag which gave me those fluctuations uh, with the voltage on the telemetry but I will try these again on the new Quan. And finally, these are my these are my 6045 uh, triple leaf, which probably of all of these will give me the most lift. But I assume these are also also create the most drag and use the most amperage on the motor. So these may be problematic. So that's what I'm going to do. That'll happen probably on the next video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead work on this. I'll take a picture, I'm going to open the quad up, kind of check the board out, get these lights installed, again get the foam on the skid, fix that skid, and we'll go from there. Okay, we're going to, we are going to do a quick 
compass calibration of the 3DX6. That's what you need to do first before you really start flying this. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn it on. I'm going to tuck those wires up in there. There we go. Now what we want what we want we want these lights I believe to be solid uh, or flashing green. We want these lights to go solid or flash excuse me flashing green. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the tr transmitter on. Let's put this down so you can see those. Now this is switch A. I need to keep doing this rapidly until I see them go there we go there's solid green and I believe Rapidly found the LED is looking at me right. To put the quadcopter in horizontal position, apply uniform continuous rotation until the green LED stops flashing. So we want to go ahead and rotate this until those green LEDs stop flashing. There, they stop flashing. So now we want we what we want to do, we want to turn the quadcopter head down, keep the Vehicle vertical and apply uniform continuous rotation in one direction until the green LED stops flashing. So we want these to stop flashing. So let's go ahead and put her nose down. Go and rotate her. Again, we're looking for those green LEDs to stop right there. So there we are. Now all I need to do now is unplug the quad and we're all set. All right, that's a compass calibration. I'm going to turn this remote off, and then we'll catch you guys shortly. Okay, let me show you on a 3DX6. Uh, I've got it on. Let's go ahead and take her off here a little bit. You notice the lights to the back. They're blinking red, then they'll go blue. When, the, when we get close to LVC, low voltage cutoff, those lights will rapidly blink blink red. That's my warning. Now again, this is flying with the 50-40 uh, prop. Again, when those rear lights start flashing rapidly red, it's time to bring her down. Now my voltage shows 7.2 on the... Uh, I don't want to run into... This thing's very fast, and I really don't like flying it in the house. I'm getting a lot of up. I'm getting a lot of updrafts, and a lot of turbulence here in the room. So that's why I'm flying erratically. You can see uh, toward the, on the skids, I have the uh, antennas. Those are the antennas there. So we'll test the uh, next video. I'll test. I'll test the different prop configurations. See what kind of uh, runtime I get on them. Again, these propellers are very fragile, so I don't want to run into anything.
again with uh, flying indoors you get a lot of turbulence so it's not really uh, I wouldn't recommend flying anything of this caliber in the house so again we're just getting too much uh, ground uh, too much turbulence from the ground flying in an enclosed area so, so Mr. Polymer is going to turn that off uh, just wanted to show you my 3DX6 again we'll uh, we'll do the different various prop configurations I have here and we'll see what again I'm just curious to see what kind of runtime I get uh, that that has the, uh, the included battery the thousand uh, milliamp battery and uh, I want to see what it does with my 1200 Y uh, KS battery so uh, again Mr. Polymers we'll talk to you guys later